the total distance between the two cities A and B is 330 kilometers. While the train starting from A leaves at 8 a.m., the train starting from B leaves at 9 a.m., that is one hour after the first train. So at 9 a.m., this train that is starts from A will reach a distance of 60 kilometers from A. So from that point till B, that is the distance between this point and city B will be 330 minus 60, that is 270 kilometers. From 9 a.m. onwards, both the trains will be moving towards each other. So for this, we'll calculate the effective speed of the two trains. So effective speed will be addition of the two speeds because they are traveling in opposite directions. Effective speed is equal to 60 plus 75 that is equal to 135 kilometers per hour. Now the distance between these two points that is this point at 9 a.m. and city B that is also at 9 a.m. is 270 kilometers. So this distance will be covered at this effective speed of 135 kilometers per hour. That means the time required to for the two trains to meet each other that is cover this total distance of 270 kilometers will be time required to cover 270 kilometers is equal to 270 upon 135 which is equal to 2 hours that is from 9 a.m. onwards in 2 hours the two trains will meet each other that is at 11 a.m. meeting time is equal to 11 a.m.